You guys, Coach Ryan here with Physical Culture, and in this video, we're gonna go over pronation and supination, okay? So we've talked about this before in other videos, how to improve your mobility, um, but in this one, we're actually gonna look at improving strength, okay? Now, there's a number of contractions that we can use with this. Uh, we can use uh, eccentrics, isometrics, concentrics, we can use all three, okay? So there's a lot of different things we can do. I'm gonna show you the basic motion, and then talk about some of those concepts. Okay, so in this exercise, all I'm gonna do, I can prop up my arm on a bench. I'm just gonna use my, uh, my thigh here. So I'm gonna put my elbow on my thigh, let my hand hang out over my leg. And now we are gonna go and place this steel mace in the hand and let the head drop, okay? Now, all I'm doing is keeping the elbow fixed and then rotating up to a neutral point and then letting it rotate down. So this is gonna be eccentric and concentric, okay? We're going back and forth. Now, the further I move the head of the mace away, the more it's going, that's a longer lever arm, so it's going to load this tissue more. It's gonna become slightly harder to control, okay? So this is eccentric and concentric. Now, if you're following a program, I've outlined on that program what you should be doing, okay? Uh, generally, what I'm gonna have you do is work with eccentrics and isometrics, okay? So, on this one, if I'm going eccentric, I'm just working on the lowering portion. So if I want to work on supination, I'm fighting this mace on the way down. So strong grip from my pinky, or I'm sorry, from my thumb down to my pinky. I don't want to be loose letting this pinky come off. Crush the grip, slowly lower it down and allow the head of the weight to pull you into full passive uh, supination, okay? Once I get all the way down, a concentric would be lifting back up. If it's a true eccentric, it should be a greater load than what I can lift concentrically. So I'm simply going to take the tail end and then assist back to that starting position. So lowering, under control, no fast movements, and then I'm assisting back up. If I'm working pronation, it's just the opposite, okay? I'm slowly lowering that head down, allowing it to turn me under control, and that's as far as I can go. Now I simply assist the head back up, okay? To make it easier, move your head, your hand closer to the head. To make it harder, move it closer toward the tail, okay? So this is pronation and supination. You've got uh, e eccentrics in there and you have concentric, eccentric as well. So if you have questions on this, feel free to drop a comment. Uh, if you're following a custom program, everything should be outlined in your program. Uh, sets, reps, duration. All that's in there, uh, but if you do have questions, feel free to hit me up on the app. If you are not currently doing a program with me and you have questions on it and you just wanna move, feel, and perform your best, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help you uh, achieve your goals. Thanks for watching, guys.